Felt good. We got stuff to do, man. Shouldn't be at work. Fuck. Why aren't you at work? I was feeling comfortable. Yeah, well, I got fired. Oh. I was quote unquote, yeah, just dragging my feet, smoking marijuana. Too much of it, apparently. <laughs> well, it's a beautiful day, man. Let's go do something. It's time to 
hit some home runs, but let's go do this. You know, I fucking hate wiffle ball anyway. No, you anyway. don't. You're just oh, being shit. lazy. I have to wake you up every morning to do this. Let's go. Come on. You're a little touchy today. I'm not touchy. I'm tired. Jack, remember that bat. Great, great, great. Come on, you look around. It's your fault. Oh, I got it. No. Shit, that's a mushroom. Mm. Well, I think we may need a new whistle ball. Ah, oh, fucking bug in my ass. Maybe Tom has one of his ass. Yeah, his house isn't too far from here. Want to give it a shot? Sure. Well, I'm going to stay here and look for it. It's got to be around here somewhere. I swear to God, if you take any more gas out of my parents' car, Dude, man. relax. You get that. Ferdinand knew that they wouldn't pick him, so he didn't. but he didn't care. So he went out to his favorite cork tree to just sit down. He didn't look where he was sitting, and instead of sitting on the nice, cool grass in the shade, he sat on a bumblebee. Well, if you were a bumblebee and a bull sat on you, what would you do? You would sting him. Boy, sting him. And that's just what this bee did to Ferdinand. Hey Gordon. What's up, Tom? Wanna listen to this? Well, if you were a bumblebee and a bull sat on you, what would you do? You would sting him. Sweet life. Yeah. Uh, Tom, do you have a wiffle ball we could borrow? Wiffle ball. Check the garage, fellas. Alright. Okay. Thanks, Tom. Hey, Gordon. Yeah. We'll never find anything in this mess. Nope. We sure won't. Let's go. this really good dream this morning. I wish I could finish it.
Alright, I'm gonna go steal some gas. Oh, fucking A, dude. It's not funny anymore when you do that. It's just annoying. Dude, take your nap, alright? Fucking quit being such a dumbass. My mom's car. Go to <laughs> sleep. Jack. Want a drink? No, thank you. It's muy bien. How'd you know my name? And where's my car? You crashed it. Don't blame me if you're in too big a hurry to come to town. Oh. Well, you were the one holding the knife to my throat. Is this a crime to force a man to go to comfort town? Probably would have kept on driving straight to hell if I hadn't stopped you. I was just redirecting your energies. Bandito. I'm going to Comfort Town. Here it's just over those mountains. Get another car, Julio. You've been here too long.
are two bandits in that car, and they're going to Comfort Town. Comfort Town, eh? Yeah, it's it's comfortable there. Come on, dude, let's go. Let's strike out. Let's go. Wake me up. It's about to turn into a sex dream. Fuck that. Shit. We were driving around all night while you've been sleeping. Yeah, you missed some great driving. Fucking hell. You bastards ain't fucking woken me up. Yeah, well, you can sleep in the car. We're going to Lamets. Come on. Let's go. House. Dude, can you need a fucking reason for everything that we do? Oh shit. Boo fuck. Gordon's mom's gas ran out on you. Fucking moron. Shut your trap. Dumbass. You hear a lawnmower? You guys hear a lawnmower? You wait here, alright? I'll be right back. Be right fucking back. That was the shit! That was the fucking shit! Dude, we made it. Full tank of gas. That's right. Absolutely That's free. Right. Who's dude, the fucking fun. man? You can't match him with a fucking crowbar, dude. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, fucking stole it. Yeah. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. Hey, Sam. Where is he? Sam. Sam. Over me. Fuck. You look so comfortable. Shit. You got a pulse. What, what do we do? It'll be fine. Let's uh, let's bring him back to the car. He can sleep it off. Uh, we can wrap his head to stop the bleeding. We don't want him to bleed to death, do we? What the fuck, Jack? Look at him, he's messed up. I don't think we should move him. Oh, but you're fine, trust me. He just, uh, he took a little bump. He just needs to sleep it off. Yeah. But why aren't you taking it seriously, Jack? I think we should call an ambulance or something. I really think we need to call an ambulance. Look, all right, I know the story about this guy who was drunk and he fell down and hit his head. He was out for like, I don't know, six hours. When he came to, you know what he did? Kept right on drinking, all right? It happens, he'll be fine. Besides, he's not even drunk, so let's just get him in the car and we'll take him to Lyman's house, all right? Besides, why the hell are we even going to Lyman's house? You never answered this question in the first place. It's ridiculous, you're acting weird, Jack. Hey, come on. I don't know how to... Come on! Let's go. I gotta get him over this car to pick him up. Here, he just tore us off. Go ahead. Go. 
Burn, get the fucking door open. He should put his legs in first. Yes. I think his blood all over. Shut up, Gordon. Put his legs down on the Get it in keep him company. Or drive. Let's go! Hey Gordon, go inside and see what Lyman's up to. It's kind of like weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen this side of you, Vern. Are you going to go inside and puff a joint or something? <laughs> no. I'm just going to stay here until he wakes up. So comfortable. Yeah. It's kind of like you did this morning. Yeah. So that's when he fucking fell over the rail. Is he all right? Yeah, he's fine. He just uh cut his head a little. He looked like he's chilling out in the car and burn. Hey, did you guys see my cut? Oh, Jesus. How the hell did you do that? I fell into some barbed wire. Damn. Yeah. Let's go smoke. Good idea. I'm out, man. I'm way too sleepy. Yeah, me too. Well, do you want to come sit? Ah, uh, no, I'm good. Thanks. Yeah. All right, same here. You know, I didn't even go to work today. I was having this really good dream. Hmm. Lately, I... I've just been having these really good dreams. That's cool. I'm pretty sleepy all the time, and, but I, I, I just can't seem to get comfortable. Being not comfortable makes you sleepy? Yeah, but when I wake up, I'm not refreshed, you know? It, yeah. it sucks. Yeah, I know what you mean. Sometimes I feel like that too. You know, the other day, I fell asleep in my car. Really? Yeah, it was pretty cool. I had like the slow music going, and the windows were all fogged up, so I put on the defrost, and it was really hot in there. Wow. You know, I just got this wild idea. What's that? We go out to the car, Put on the heat, turn on some sweet music, and just go to sleep. 
right now. this concert? Yes. Me too. But I think it's time we moved on. Comfort town? I don't know. We've been traveling for two days now. What is this? Oh, well, that's a scepter. We picked it up along the way. Oh. And uh, where are those two bandits? I need to speak with them. I think the question you should be asking yourself is how sleepy do you feel? And who will be your queen? Well, I, I must say I do feel pretty sleepy, but uh, I think something's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen. Oh? Shit, Sam! Jesus. Oh, 
sure he doesn't have a pulse. He doesn't have a fucking pulse. No pulse? Are you joking? You can't joke about something like this, you stupid bitch! He doesn't have a pulse! He's dead! I need you to do something for me, come on. It's just, it's not gonna ever come off, is it? It's not right. It's alright, I just... Come on over here, come on. I want you to hit me with this. What? He was... He was so comfortable. Last night, he was still alive. And he was so comfortable. Look, Vern. Sam is dead. Nothing is gonna change that now, alright? But I need you to hit me with that crowbar. Otherwise, I'll cut my wrists. Don't, don't do that. You're, you're not responsible. Sam might not even be dead. You're right, I'm not responsible. But I'll do it anyway. Sam is dead, all right? He's dead. He's dead. But I still, I, I want to be comfortable like him. I, I've never seen comfort like that, all right? Now, do you know what happens when you slit your wrists? You die very quickly, Vern. First, you get real sleepy, and then your brain just shuts off. You need all your blood, Vern. You should know that. Now, look at your hands and imagine them covered with my blood as you try to staunch the wounds on my wrists. Would you even try? Now hit me! Jack, Jack. Hit me with the crowbar! Jack, no. Vern, hit me! In the back of the head, it's real simple, right here. Now, come on, hit me. Now! Now! that building over there. I wouldn't go in there. The King of Comfort Town lives in there. He doesn't like to be disturbed. So we're in Comfort Town. Of course we are. Where do you think we are? I'm going to see the King. Poor idea. Well, why are you all just milling about here? Why aren't you getting comfortable? We're just... chilling. Where's Leanne? She went in to see the king. Alright, that settles it. 